Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-edged sword, penetrating to your soul and spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Promise TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ. Your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your words and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may take your seat. We thank God for his mercy. Thank you. Wow. Let's go to the word of God. You know, when you enter in the house of God, or when it is time to pray, prayer cannot be answered by you. You need to see the glory of God. That is the sign. When you see the glory of God, know for sure that your prayer has been what? Answered. Even when you are preaching like this, the glory of God must come down to arrest the opposer. The enemy of salvation. Who is the enemy of salvation? Of course you know him. So the glory of God must come down. Whenever you come together, remember it is written in Matthew 18. Verse 18 up to uh, 19, 20. When you come together like this one, you gathered in the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus is not the history. It is the reality of his word. I mean, the glory of God must be seen that we have gathered in the name of Jesus. So we are here. In which name? The name Jesus. You must see the glory of God when you stand, when you hear the word of God. The glory of God must be seen upon your life. To take over your life. To remove you from poverty, from sickness, to good health, from failure to success. This is what made our Savior to be more, you know, powerful every day. Whenever Jesus will approach his father, he will see the glory of his father upon his life. Even when enemies, are, you know, are surrounded him, because the glory of God has already come down to comfort him and to make him not to feel anything from his enemy. When you pray, do you see the glory of God? You only hear your voice. And your voice cannot give you, you know, that protection that you need. It is the glory of God. Jesus went to the mountain and the glory of God came upon his life. Let's go to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 9 verse 28. If you are, you know, you are, you can reach Peter. Second Peter chapter 1 verse Three, but let me start with this one first. About eight days, the other book says six days. If you go to Matthew and Mark, it says six days. But where I'm reading, it says eight days. After Jesus said this, he took Peter, John, and James with him, went up unto a mountain to pray. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed. Take note of that one. Not his voice. The appearance of his face did what? Changed. We are not here to save history, people of God. We need to experience the reality of his word. And what is the reality? His glory, his presence must be seen. His appearance changed. And these clothes became as blighter as a flash of lightning. Including his clothes were changed. They became blighter like lightning. What can make your clothes to change your color? 
Is he your voice? Is he prayer and fasting? No. The Bible says that his appearance changed. And his clothes changed. They became what? Blighter. Flashing like lightning. What does it mean? When Jesus was praying, his father in heaven releases his glory upon the sun. It was the glory that, you know, covered his clothes. It was the glory that changed his face. He was shining. Everything was shining. Come on, people of God, understand this. When the glory of God comes upon your life, darkness cannot come near you, if you don't know this. Darkness cannot what? Cannot come near you. Because you become the light to quench what? Darkness. Witchcraft is darkness. Poverty on its own is nothing. But the spirit behind the name poverty is darkness. When this spirit is upon your family or your life, you become darkness of what? Poverty. The glory of God came down. The face changed. The clothes changed. The color of the material was changed. Hmm. I like this. He was flashing like lightning. There's no way Satan can come near such a person. I'm trying to put you in the shoes of Jesus when he was here on earth. He was getting support from his father. And Jesus promised you that I'm going to my father. But I am not going to leave you like orphans. I am going to send the advocate. Who my father do what? Promised. Simply, he was telling you and me to say, what you see me doing now, it is the glory of God, my, uh, the glory of my father which is upon my life. And when I leave this world, I'm going to send the same glory upon your life. That is the way Jesus came, you know, to do. When you pray, don't trust your voice. Don't trust the number of days that you have been fasting. You need to see the glory of God. Even when you are reading the Bible, it doesn't pay anyone. If you read from Genesis up to Revelation, you get nothing. You can read one chapter, one verse, with the heart, you know, pure heart, you will see the glory of God. In that one chapter and one verse. Quoting the Bible and taking note of the, you know, whatever you are, there's nothing wrong. But the glory of God must come upon your life to protect you, to cover you, and to quench darkness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I hope you understand this. You understand this. Let me repeat my reading. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed. His appearance did what? Changed. The nature of God took over the physical body to give strength because there is no way you can stand here on earth and fight Satan with this flesh that depends on a milli meal, hmm? chicken, fish. No. You can only defeat Satan if the glory of God is upon your life. Let me tell you this. We are here. You know, this is not a night. Look at the time. You can insult Satan. How do you insult Satan? By rebuking him, commanding him, saying all kinds of things, sending fire to him. He will look at you and say, okay, you are saying this because where you are, I can see the glory of God in that environment. I'll wait for you there in your house. You meet me in that room where you sleep, where you snore like a lion. Let me see. You understand this? This is why the glory of God must be, you know, remain permanent upon your life as a child of God. 
When you pray, it is not a question of no, it is time or you know for prayer. There is nothing like that spiritually. Kumu pashita kwa benista akupepa. Every second, every minute, you must be what? Be in what? In an attitude of what? Prayer. That is where meditation comes in. To maintain the glory of God upon your life. You like praying, Father, thank you. Uh, in Jesus' name. Bless this in Shima. After eating, no prayer. No what? When it is time to sleep, Lord Jesus, thank you. Uh, cover me, my children, uh, everything here. In Jesus' name. Ah. When you finish talking and you sleep, what is next? What is next? The enemy will come to check on you because they are depending on your blood. Their job is to destroy and kill. Even when you are sleeping, the glory of God must be seen like the light. You see? Look at the light. Now, Lala. Murilo wena ule chashani. Ule bidi muka. Nga bakulo le shechinso. E vale kupalanya kuriba ya maobe. Nga nindo shia fuma kumushkumienu. Ile kupalanya kuriba awiso. Kuriba anoko. Kubo bai papo. Basanga tupalene. Ule ya kakwati na kalimo. Kalumba. Kukulo le shendo shia wa blind. Ah, you don't understand this. Hmm? is Jesus for you. That is what? Jesus for you. Listen to this now. This is verse 29. As he was praying, the appearance changed. His face changed. And his clothes became what? As bright as a flash of lightning. Can you look to lightning? You cannot. Can you challenge the lightning? You cannot. Nangu mwalikwato wanga waka lumbanga kamia insha mufide mwati naka kwalesa. Oh. Two men, this is verse 30. Moses and Elijah appeared in a what? Glorious splendor, talking with Jesus. Heaven must continue packing the children who are here on earth. When you are praying, the angels must appear to help you, like Jesus when he was praying. The glory of God came upon his life. Elijah and Moses appeared. To do what? To deliver the information. Don't worry. You are in charge. You are overcoming the world. You are on top of everything. Your father in heaven has sent us to tell you this. Never you mind what you are going through. It is not your voice when you pray to say, I am Anaya Risha. You see me standing here. I am not alone. The cherubims are here to help me. Because witches and wizards, Satan kingdom, you may not see them with your eyes, but they are throwing arrows. But the glory of God is our defense. It is our protection. You understand this? Two men appeared to Jesus, Elijah and Moses. They were talking to him. Sit down and think twice about this one. When you pray, your face must change. Your clothes must what? Change. Maybe you are calling a crown. Evil what? Crown. Maybe you are wearing a gown, a spiritual what? Gown. From the evil world or witchcraft world. Some of you, women, you are wearing a mask. You cannot marry. This is why when you enter in the realm of prayer, the glory of God will come down to unmask your face. So that men will start now seeing you that there's a beautiful woman here. Hmm? You are working in that company. No one knows that it is you who are making that company you know, to progress. Because they have covered your face. When you enter in the presence of God, the glory of God will come down to unmask your face so that your boss will start thinking about you to say, ha, ah, it is Mlenga doing all these things. I can see his contributions. Please. Verse 3. Are you there? Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 3. Is 
divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own what? Glory and goodness. Take note of this. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly what? Life. Let me spare this one. Understand this, people of God. When you are praying, you will see the glory of God. The state of your heart. You can fast for 10 days without talking. And yet, you have seen the glory of God. You can read one chapter and you see what? The glory of God. Ngatulepepa, as we are seated here quietly, we are not paying attention to Mlenga, but we are attracting the Holy Ghost, the hope of life, the shelter of your spiritual life. You must see the glory of God. If you are a father, you are a you see me shine, you say, ah, hey, this is now true. They say this man is, 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 is something. His clothes, you know, change. Hmm? They were flashing like lightning. Spiritual husband, could tell some paper. No. You become the fire. So you need to see the glory of God. And it is today. I can't hear you. Amen. I say you need to see the glory of God. Amen. When you stand and say, Jesus, the glory of God must come upon your life. Amen. When you see that, there you know that, oh, I'm well covered and protected. Amen. Not when you are praying, you pray, you pray, you are tired. You then you say, I am not why Arisha. No. No. Amaka ya kwale safira itashani ya ikila. Let's tell history. God is real. If you are real, he's more real. Thank you. God bless you.